day 492 of resurrecting Betty. Happy Independence Day. No, it's actually July 4th. I'm only two, only two weeks into it. Um, it's hot out, which is, you know, got the garage partially open so the sun doesn't beat in on me and make me like a tater. Um, I think we're actually going to do some, get some stuff accomplished this morning. Um, went to O'Reilly's and spent my daily budget of, went over my daily budget of $30. Spent $30.35 cents on three cans of brake fluid and three more bottles of, um, what do you call it, transmission oil. Um, we're going to do what I really don't want to do, but I have to do because it's a necessity at this point. We're going to replace the pan gasket. Looking forward this, to this is what I call one of those necessary evils. I was never a fan of, um, what do you call it? Never a fan of doing transmission oil pans. Even on a lift. And, uh, yeah, this is not going to be any different. <sighs> Got my 13 millimeter. The bolts are surprisingly loose. Oh, I'm going to leave that one in there. Now. I don't know what the truth the rumor is I won't know until I get my shiny radiator in put these right here uh, I got five quarts of fluid which, which should cover uh, you know the padding filter replacement. Now, the best I can tell, oh, the exhaust is right here. The transmission fluid is clean. And given the history of the truck, you know, I believe it's proper. Like, look how red that is. You know, and I pulled the dipstick and stuff like that. It's clean. Now, I'm hoping it's clean out of regular maintenance and not... Clean because it was having a transmission issue. That's going to take some steam. But given the value of the truck... the ease of rebuild on transmissions. No, I'm not going to do it myself. Uh, I'm not opposed to having it rebuilt. Let's say it that way. You know, for as good as the truck runs, worth it. Totally worth it. So, we'll see what happens. It's dripping. So, I mean... Why, why would I bring rags in here with me? I mean, that would just make sense. Well, the good news is, is the pen hasn't fell down. Oh, well, there's a bolt right there, too. Like I said, the only reason I'm messing with it is because the pen's got a leak. If this pen wasn't leaking, I wouldn't be doing this at this point. But every time I run it, it leaks like a sieve. All right. My pen is fighting me this morning. Really? 
Come on now. Oh, Betty, what are you doing to me today? It's oozing. I got some groupies. You know that I'd known this was gonna be this much. When I had it on the back of the truck, I would have hit the power washer. Did your old manual car wash. Well, what's that they say about hindsight being 2020? took completely out. Did you know it? That works for me. Oh, hey, you know what? When you do this, you should probably open the drains on the bucket so it actually drains into the bucket. Yeah. Removal of those is key. Good job. There we go. A little spillage. A little more spillage. Oh, I didn't want to do that, but I did. side completely. Oh, that's not great. I'll show you in a minute. I just found something very not good. So, as you heard me moan and groan, when I dropped the pan, and I said, oh, that does not look good. And that's what I found. That is gasket material on gasket material now I'm not seeing any metal or I could be a liar <sighs> there's metal in it a little bit now I don't know some of that well I mean now that I see some of that looks like grit that came off the side, I'm hoping. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous about it. I mean, I guess we're just gonna have to see, and time will tell, when we go for our first ride. So, we may not be out of the woods. That's bothersome. Well, let me get this cleaned up. Get the new gasket on it. And throw it back together and move on to the next thing. Because that is a lot of material. But that could also be 40 years worth of material. I don't know. So we're cleaning the pan now. And I'll tell you a little story. I was doing the brakes the other night. Again, with one of those circumstances where I didn't know how much time I was going to have, etc. Behind it. Man, all this gas material really makes me nervous. We're going to film it as I put it back together. The brakes. Actually, I still got this side over here to do, so I'll probably film this side, the driver's side. And anyway. So I was, I took apart the other side and I had put a bracket on, they got these two retainer plates on the bracket 
and I put them on backwards, and I realized my mistake. I took it back apart. Well, when I was taking it back apart, I had snapped a bolt inside the bracket. There. Anyway, I tried drilling it out, it slipped the device, and just goobered up that hole even more. So there was no tapping it to, you know, drilling and tapping it. Somebody recommended Healy coil. I said, no, I'm not, not about that light. It's not that I don't trust Healy coil, it's just I don't trust Healy coil. I decided that my best course of action was to go on the old interwebs and find another one. And lo and behold, 30 minutes after I did it, I found one on one of my Dodge groups, Dodge groups on Facebook. The dude had it, Bart. Shout out to him. Well, Bart's in Canada. And albeit he's gonna get it to me. We've already worked out the deal in Tom's way. So the moral of the story is sometimes Canada can save your ass. That was a one in a million shot. Oh, just nailed myself in the eye with some brake cleaner. I'll tell you what, ladies, friendly tip. You don't have any mace? Use brake cleaner. I, I really do have a gas experience for this. But I like doing things the extra hard way. I don't know why. My dad always said, shout out to Peter Van Sr., that I had a knack for doing things the hard way. Actually, he used to, he didn't say that so much as he would ask the question constantly, why do you do things the hard way? Where do you get the rest of this material off with the old uh, spin a Rudy wire wheel? Let's take this to the vice grip in the bench. Oh, that's much better. This is oddly satisfying. If you've never cleaned up anything with a wire wheel on some metal, I highly recommend it. Especially if you just like weird, oddly satisfying things. I will say this. This package of four wire wheels from Harbor Freight. No, it was five or six in there. It was like $4.99. Holding up surprisingly really well. some garage karaoke of Roadhouse Blues. I'm sure we've all been to those bars enough to where we've seen drunk people who have no place singing do it. You don't need to see a sober guy do it. Speaking of sobriety, I know it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm doing this. I'm trying to do this before it gets really flipping hot, which is why the garage is halfway closed. I want to give a quick shout out to Shadrachs this morning for not taking the June special of banana split iced coffee off the menu and keeping it a secret menu item. Well, I guess it's not so secret now, but still. This stuff is good. Like, it really does taste like banana split coffee. But, uh, in case y'all are wondering, banana split, shad racks, three shots, that's all you need. For all you local Jonesboro Paragoo folk. Oh, 
Oh, back to wire wheeling. Holy crap. Look what I found. The original part number to the pad. Wow. That's pretty cool. Again, it's a little things in life that excite me. Spray it out. Get under there, put the new gasket on. Call it good. So here we are. Back under the old truck. And either I'm getting more round in the center. Or my floor is sinking. Oh. I got a hole in my floorboard. Not big. I just found it. And yeah, that's because I'm close up. But if you really look at it compared to my finger, it's not that bad. See, look, my finger covers it up. I'll just drive around like that. No, I get it when I do the interior. I'll see what I can't do to stop. Put a cease and desist on that. Now, the gasket doesn't look too bad. I don't see no metal on it. I mean, or the gasket, the filter. I don't see any metal on it. I'm just waving around and just throw fluid in my face. But then again, who knows if it was just changed recently too. Again, though, there is a material on this filter. So, a little worried. You're lying if I didn't say I wasn't. Well, I did get movement, but then again, when I did that, there was no pressure on it either. So, I don't know. We'll do the fluid. We'll do the filter. And when the wheels and tires go on and my radiator, my shiny aluminum radiator gets here, we'll see what we get. I gotta say, between that brake bracket and this, I didn't think it would totally be a cakewalk, this truck. But it was showing a lot of promise. Oh, you didn't hear that. But my shoulder just cracked turning that last, turning that screw. But it's still not going to dishearten me. Oh, on a side conversation piece while we're doing all this, I was trying to convince my wife to let me do some old school shop graphics to it. You know, me just like with the patina and everything else. And it being in 1974, and Jaws being my favorite movie, I was going to put a Quince Charter Fishing logo, faded logo on the side. She vetoed the idea completely. Her first, her first and only point was that we were landlocked. I'm not saying she's wrong. You know, I don't get it. She may have to go on a weekend trip and find some logos on the truck when she gets back. So let's put this pan up. I had to run the pan bolts into the gasket because, you know, we don't live in the times where companies care about flat gaskets anymore. Now they just care about little efficient packaging. So, you know, we're gonna bunch up the gasket and fold it into 10 different pieces, in 10 different ways, and let you figure out how it's gonna go on. They were nice enough, though, to make the holes small, 
to where I can screw bolts in. The bolts can hold it in place and kind of keep it together. Thousands of car guys agree. If the gasket is flat in the packaging like it used to be, it's easier to install. We don't give a hoot that you're trying to save money. We just care that the, the installation ease, you know, it is a good thing. So, yeah, if you could work on that, that would be fantastic. Now I'm just going to have anxiety over will I have a transmission that works or not. I guess I probably should just start pricing one. Yeah, really. I'm not looking forward to pulling this. Well, I mean, it's probably nature's way of telling me. I probably should start shopping for one just in case. And it's just shopping. I'm not going out to go purchase one right off the bat. I'm just looking at numbers so I know what to expect. transmission pan. A little transmission slip. I don't know. But I'm here. Feeling cute. Might do some valve cover caskets. Next. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs>